Hi guys, so let's talk about prom dresses, dresses for going out, red carpet dresses, birthday, New Year's, Valentine's Day. As far as today we're gonna talk about the body types. Your body, your weight, your age can change from time to time, but your body type stays the same. If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna leave the link down below on the body types test video and on the body type series videos where you can determine your body type. So if you know which body type you are, under that video and in the comments, I'm gonna leave the time links on each and every body type so you would click to your body type if you don't wanna watch the rest. Okay, let's recall. So there are five basic body types. Dramatic, natural, classic, gamine, meaning teenage girl, and romantic. Almost each of those body types has its softer version and sharper version. If you choose the clothes that has same lines, as your body, that will look like this particular clothes was made specifically for you. Let's start. As you know, there's like yang and yin energy. Yang is a male energy, straight, long, lean, strong, sharp. And there's female energy, yin, meaning soft, rounded, small, wide. So combination of those gives us certain body type. Let's first talk about dramatic body type. Dramatics are tall, lean, strong, sharp, with prominent bones, elongated features or square features. Dresses should be elongated and sleek. The more tailored, the better. Sharp shoulders are essential. You can use waist emphasis, but the best it looks with wide and geometric belt. Dropped waists and no waist style is very elegant on you when the shape is kept narrow. Fabrics are the best when they keep the defined shape. If you choose the colors, maybe not color blocks. Choose vertical line, like same color. Dramatics, as far as they look long, they can really pull off the vertical line. Meaning same color here and on the bottom. Not too many color blocks. Don't cut your body into many pieces because you have been created as that long line. So you will look gorgeous in that long dresses. Having that head to toe silhouette, narrow silhouette sharp silhouette and on contrary if you wear something like super girly with frills with loads of ruffles flowers too many pastels lightweight fabric flowing fabrics that can look slightly separate from you we can perceive the weight of objects with our eyes when we look at something right so when we look at the flowing fabrics fabrics that don't keep its shape you know that can look slightly separate on dramatics also clean angular necklines would look amazing sharper shoulders like something that would fit something that would be straight and elongated remember i told you at the beginning of the video that almost every body type has its softer version and sharper version so dramatic as far as it's already like a hundred percent young like male energy sharp and angular so this is an absolute in our case of course absolutes don't exist in this universe but we kind of pretend that the majority of their features are more for dramatic type. There can be more dramatic than that. In case of dramatic body type, we only have its softer version that is called soft dramatic. These women also look tall and have prominent bone structure. However, they are more juicy, like femininity. Very often they have hourglass shape, but the bone structure stays being dramatic. It's just they have some flesh on top of that. These women look amazing in that vertical line as well, but instead of sharper lines, they can do like wrapping lines, something that holds them, big drapes. Imagine the fabric that just is holding their body in its arms, you know? They look amazing with some details, big ornate details, shearing, drapes, full skirts, waist emphasis. If it's too unshaped, that might look slightly inaccurate on them, uncertain kind of not for them. They need more precise frame at the same time, even though they would need some drapings, you know, just to show that roundness in their body. Also, they might not look very good in like short and girly dresses with some very small details, very small trim, or on contrary, in a very, very severe, very cold and super sharp tailored silhouettes. So just add some femininity into that vertical line and use some fabrics that are heavy, heavy and soft. Now let's go to a completely different direction, romantic. It's a complete opposite from the dramatic. Small, rounded, juicy, with delicate bones, very feminine. It's a hundred percent of yin energy, female energy. Dresses are best when they are feminine and flowing. Waist emphasis, ornate details, 
swirling or flouncy skirts, soft prints, soft pastel colors, rounded details, all that looks amazing on romantics. Fabric should be lightweight and soft looking. Waist emphasis is the best thing for romantics. And on contrary, if they wear something sleek, narrow, very sharp and cold and very stiff, you know, like very tailored, that can look slightly separate from them. Very often romantics have hourglass figure that looks very soft and feminine. Even if they're underweight a little bit, you still can see that delicacy of the bones and some softness. In very stiff dresses, they might look slightly chained and kind of limited. They're small and rounded and very gentle curves. They need lighter and rounder frame. These women look great with ruffles, with small gathers, small drapes. The skirt of the dress is good when it's flowing, and details should be soft, intricate, ornate and feminine. But the ruffles and gathers should be womanly, not little girlish. There's always a difference. And again, necklines, sleeves, all that should better be slightly rounded and kind of breathing, but not unshaped. She will look like she's lost in that huge amount of fabric, because they still look smaller, they look more delicate. So as you could already understand, Romantic is another absolute in our case, so it's a hundred percent yin and female energy. There can't be softer body type than that. But it can be slightly sharper version of romantic, and its sharpness is in the bone structure. So imagine she's also small, also rounded, has some flesh, very feminine. Her bone structure is also small, delicate. Her arms and legs also look short, but she is slightly narrower. She can have slightly sharper shoulders, sharper cheekbones, narrower hands. For theatrical romantics, dresses are best when they're feminine and shapely. Slightly defined shoulders, waist emphasis, and intricate detail is the best, like ornateness, shearing gathers, sparkles, soft and draped necklines, tapered wrists, lightweight fabrics look best. They can have some sheen or plushness, as opposed to, let's say, unconstructed, huge styles, huge drapes, big details. You know, these ladies look short, they look small. Sometimes they are tiny and they have very delicate and small facial features. So when they get something like with flowers as large as their head, you can imagine how disproportionate that can look sometimes, so they look their best in, in those very beautiful, shapely dresses that are slightly sharper than for romantics, let's say. And also if they wear something long, vertical line, very sharply tailored, very straight, no waist emphasis, that also can look slightly separate from them, they will look like they were put in a box, too strict and too heavy, you know. Tulip-shaped skirts also look great. An excess of Detail in trim is very important. Bows, sheer lace, jabots, soft ruffles, sparkly applique are excellent. Now let's go to classic family. Now if we mix dramatic and romantic together and then we get that classic woman, her features are very moderate. We can't say if she's sharp or not sharp. She's very balanced in the bone structure, in flesh, in her proportions. Her facial features are evenly spaced. So classic can be softer and sharper. Softer version we call soft classic and sharper version dramatic classic. So let's first talk about classic. Basically that also works for soft classics and dramatic classics with slight changes. So for all the classics, symmetry is the key. I don't know, something happens with this woman when they wear something very symmetrical, like the buttons right in the center, the parting of the hair in the center, dresses that are not asymmetrical, that don't have some asymmetrical details, but same on the right and on the left. Something happens, they look amazing with that, as opposed to other body types. With smooth shapes, softly tailored styling, and slim width, they can use some waist emphasis, best with narrow and elegant belts. Splashes of colors, asymmetrical details, super bright trim, unshaped stuff, that all can really distract from their features. But if you find that golden middle with symmetry in it, that will look gorgeous and amazing. They don't look as good in wide and unconstructed silhouettes, you know, loads of drapes can look slightly separate from them. Also flouncy styles with ornate detail also can look slightly separate from them, that can distract from their clean features, you know? So those clean lines, clean silhouettes, maybe not super bright colors, but pastel colors, Fabric should not look super heavy and super light. Uh, again, something in the middle. Soft classics can be slightly smaller, slightly rounder, 
more delicate bones on the face and stuff, but they still are classics. So again, symmetry is best thing for them. And all I mentioned before, the only addition I have is adding some femininity, some waist emphasis, maybe some ruffles, but not to make it super romantic-ish, symmetrical, flowing shapes. Slightly ornate detail, so we're adding some more ornateness to them. Lightweight, draped and sheer fabrics. Slightly sparkling fabric, smooth fabrics. Slight ornate trim, but not fussy. Again, slightly holding back with the trim. Okay, dramatic classics are more angular and sharper in bones. They can be whether like more squarish or more elongated. They look slightly more adult, I would say. I don't know if it's the right description, but to me, they look slightly more adult. The bone structure, everything looks kind of a bit more dramatic, but they are still classics. They are still pretty moderately shaped everywhere. They just look slightly heavier than classics. So again, everything is same. Symmetry, clean looks. But in this case, we add some trim and tailored silhouette with sharp edges. Clean, sleek lines, straight lines, elongated draping. Dresses should be tailored, sleek, with sharp edges and crisp detail. She can emphasize the waist with chunky and geometric belt. She can also go without any waist emphasis or dropped low waist. So what can look slightly separate from them? Kind of unbalanced. If they wear something super soft and very feminine, very lightweight, and very very rounded flouncy dresses or skirts small gathers small ornateness bows flowers ribbons also they don't look as good in unconstructed silhouettes like super flowing too flowing bolder colors brighter colors more contrasted colors that will support their bone structure much more but the basis is still symmetrical and clean now let's go to natural family Naturals also normally look moderate in size. They can have a bit more sporty figure. They have also angular bones, like dramatics do, but their bones are not sharp, they're blunt. Slightly wider features of the faces, sometimes wider shoulders and wider chest area and smaller hips. You can see some musculature in them. It doesn't matter, again, if they're overweight or underweight. You can still see some power, some width, especially in the top. They have wider bones. Naturals can also be softer and sharper. So softer naturals, David Kibbe calls soft naturals and sharper flamboyant naturals. So dresses for naturals are best when they are simple and unconstructed. With a narrow shape and relaxed outline. Softly tailored styles work well. And also dropped and loose waisted styles. So as far as these women don't look big, massive. They look moderate in size. So. They don't look as good in super unconstructed, super wide silhouettes. They do look good in narrower silhouette, but still relaxed. Asymmetrical. Something simpler. Also not super tailored and stiff. And not super flouncy, girly-like. Their bone structure still looks a bit heavier, so we need to support that heaviness with slightly heavier silhouettes. They need some freedom in silhouette. Vivid and white color combinations would look amazing on them. Too much ornateness can also look slightly separate from them, so they look better in simpler dresses. Plain and simple details and trim. Simple necklines, soft horizontals, boat necks, clean shapes, deep Vs also look amazing. The shape is best when it's geometric with soft and rounded edges. Soft naturals have same bone structure. They have some flesh on top. They can be slightly smaller and slightly more delicate in bones, in facial bones and they look more feminine, but they don't look as light as romantics. They still look slightly heavier in bones, wider in bones than romantics. All same as for naturals, but dresses should be soft and flowing, but at the same time loose and unconstructed. They can loosely define the waist. Details are best when they're lower in the body, th that are not framing the face. A slightly antique approach to the dresses is also great but maybe not super flouncy, not super girly. They don't look as good in a severe tailored silhouettes that can be like too boxy for them, too limited. Also, if they wear something like super wide and shapeless, as far as they are moderate in size and some of them can even look smaller, can be smaller. So, you know, those wide unconstructed styles can make them look slightly bigger and puffier than they are. And also if they wear something crisp and fitted and super sleek, the bones can look slightly heavier and wider than they are. So for evening wear, drapable fabrics, plush fabrics, slightly sheer fabrics look great. Now let's go to flamboyant naturals. Flamboyant naturals are 
taller. They have like longer vertical line and width. This is their difference from dramatics. More angular bones with blunt edges and wider shoulders normally. So most of the models, supermodels, especially 90 supermodels are flamboyant naturals. They can be bigger on top, smaller butt, legs, slightly wide and angular bone structure in the face. So they look best in bold shapes with sweeping lines, shoulder emphasis, easy necklines, bold prints. In terms of details, either minimal details or bold and broad detail. Widely cut, unconstructed gowns. Basically, they look great in oversized pieces. So these women, as far as their bone structure, is pretty long and pretty powerful. They look pretty powerful. So they do look better in those heavy pieces that freedom, that layering, big silhouettes, you know, as opposed to super slim and super tailored or super flouncy, like for little girls, you know, short pieces with loads of color blocks and all those shears, gathers and smaller neatness is slightly not for them. They will look heavier than they are in that type of clothes. So last but not least is gamine body type. It's a mixture of opposites. These girls are small, they have smaller bone structure, they look tomboyish sometimes or like a little girl. They have narrower figure, like straighter figure, sharper bone structure, slightly angular in bones, and small. So gamines can be softer and sharper. Softer gamines we call soft gamines, sharper, again, flamboyant gamines. This is the name that David Kibbe gave them. First, let's talk about gamine in general. That would work for all the gamines with some slight changes. Sleek and slinky shapes with geometric outlines and crisp trim. Tailored edges look amazing. Angular necklines with lots of crisp and colorful trimming. Collars, cuffs. Asymmetrical hemlines. Better no monochromatic color schemes. They look amazing in shortened pieces and color blocks. Bright details by the face. Small angular details. Very tailored slim dresses with sharp edges and with small crisp details. Dropped waists are great if they kept very skinny. So 1920s is for gamines. I'm one of gamines, so I adore 20s dresses and 20s style and silhouettes, as you can see already now. Love makes me treat you the way that I do. I have pretty straight 20s dress at the moment. It's pretty sharp color, you can see. Flouncy styles and ornate styles can look slightly unbalanced on them. They can look slightly like a boy in girly clothes. So they need slightly narrower and less feminine, less girly stuff. More crisp, more vertical, more tailored. Let's go now to soft gamine. The smallest girls, also very angular in bones, but they have some softness in their face. Their arms are normally shortened, legs are shortened. The difference between them and romantics is romantic looks womanly. And these girls can look like girls in their 30s. There's slightly teenage angularity going on in there. They might feel they look chubby and puffy sometimes. They have hourglass figure normally. So dresses are best when they're shaped at the waist, with crisp necklines, cuffs, and intricate or animated detail. Flounces added to skirts are very sophisticated on these girls. Bouffant dresses are extremely chic. Asymmetrical hem lines. Skirts may be tapered or flared, but should not be voluminous. Anything that is wide and unconstructed and super voluminous gives them slightly chubby appearance, like they look more chubby than they are. They can look slightly bulky in also no waist style, so waist emphasis is very important for them. The dress should not be super heavy on them, but it should not be very, very light, like for romantics, because their angularity is asking for more shapely stuff, you know? Like that slightly heavier, slightly more crisp fabrics. Also, if they wear something super womanly, super ornate, you know, that can look slightly as if a little girl is trying on her mom's clothes. But at the same time, when they wear something a little bit more cute, then she would look amazing. Tulip skirts would look amazing, like a tulip. Or a skirt that is getting narrower at the knees and going wider to the bottom. Also, if that would all be just pastel colors without any trim, that can look her look slightly tired. That's why when gamines are adding some bright contrasted details to that very basic and pastel dress, that will look much brighter. And as this dress, you can see it's beige, but as far as it has some brighter trim, that is essential to frame the face. Also, soft gamines look great in shorter pieces, in color blocks. If that's a color that's best when it's rounded and closer to the neck, like higher. Okay, last but not least, flamboyant gamines. 
gamins with some drama in them. They also look smallish, sharp in bones. They can have some vertical line, maybe their arms can be longer, or they can look slightly cultish, like leggish. They can have squarer or more angular bones in their face, in body structure, they can have some musculature added to gamin. Slightly more adult gamin, tomboy, they have stronger bone structure, but they are still gamins. So dresses are best when they are sculpted, tailored and short. Narrow styles that are cut close to the body. Asymmetric details and contrasted trim. Waists are best when they are lowered but they look also amazing with wide contrasted belt. If the skirt is straight, better if the hemline is short and longer if the skirt is uneven. They can look good with blue zone styles with dropped waists. Again, kind of 20 silhouettes, like straight 20 styles. Flapper girl. Fabrics should be of moderate to lightweight to reveal your shape. Asymmetrical details are very chic. Geometric shapes are great. Crazy color blocks are amazing and a lot of trim look great. What can look a bit separate from them is like super feminine flouncy dresses, very lightweight with lots of frills. They're slightly too powerful for that. So when they move, when they talk, they will look more angular than the dress and clothes that's sitting on them. Like also white unconstructed dresses also can look slightly separate from them. Maybe in your accessories you can go slightly crazy because these girls are like sex, drugs and rock and roll as we call them. Splashes of color, animated print. You can show your sense of humor in your dress. That will always look organic as opposed to let's say classics. Like if a classic woman is trying like, to joke with her clothes that can look kind of not in right place, not in right time. So we're gonna talk about shoes and jewelry in my next videos. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. For your support, me in Patreon. We talk about beauty with girls, so check it in there. I'm gonna leave the links down below. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Love makes me treat you.